Hello everyone. So today we're looking at um, how to use make code within Minecraft to enhance your world with code. So for that, we need to first create a world and ensure that it's in a creative mode. And then we'll, we'll connect the Minecraft Education Edition to the make code comma builder. So for the new version of the Minecraft Education Edition, you can just connect to the make code builder by pressing the C button and your code editor, your code builder should pop up. For the older version, however, um, you can choose to connect to the make code by opening up the make code and then copy copying the com uh, connect command and pasting it within the command terminal that can be activated by pressing the enter key. So for today, we'll just be doing a new project and we'll be trying to create this pyramid as seen here. Okay. And before we actually type any code, let's uh, first brainstorm how we're going to create this new pyramid. So before anything else, let's look at the top view of the pyramid. I can see that the pyramid is actually just made up of um, squares with decreasing length. Alright, so you see that very bottom layer of the pyramid is actually squares of a length around 11 and then goes to 9 and 7, and 5, and 3, and then lastly in length 1. So you can see that there's a certain uh, logic to pyramid creation, and we can probably use a loop to create these different layers of the pyramids as it goes up. So before anything else, um, I would like to look at the top left corner of the screen, and can see my current position um, in the world, and this is the world coordinates that I can actually see. Okay, so the position is actually showed in a coordinate system of with three axes, um, x, y, and z axis. So in the case, as I move front and back, you can see that my x axis is actually uh, changing. And on left and right, my z axis is changing. And my y axis changes when I jump up and down. Okay, so we probably need to use these different world positions to create a pyramid around us. So let's go to our code to try to start uh, create a, a pyramid. So I'll go to click on new project. And I'll let um, the users to create the pyramid on, on check command pyramid. Okay. So when we want to start when we want to create a pyramid what we want to do is to change the length of the squares. So we'll definitely need a variable to contain the current length of the square. So to do that, let's first create a variable, which can be found here, the variable block. And we'll make a variable, and uh, let's name this the width of the square. Okay. So let's set the width to be 5. So we always create a pyramid with a width of 5 around the user. Okay, and then we'll want to loop through this um, width of 5 um, because you want to create, at the, at the most bottom width, you want to create, uh, at the, sorry, at the most bottom layer, you want to create the square with the longest width and so on and so forth as, my, as I go up my y-axis. So we definitely need a loop for this to loop through uh, the different numbers in the width. So we'll go to loop, and then we'll take out this block, which is the for index from 0 to width. Okay, and then uh, we'll just make it from 0 to width. So now I have a loop that loops through uh, a number from 0 to 5. So index is something that changes from 0 to the width set. So we can probably pack index to be the y-axis value because as you can see, as I move up the layer, my y-axis is the one that's changing. Okay. So let's do that. And as I move up the level, I want to, I want to create the pyramid and create the squares at each level. So to create squares, we can go to the blocks uh, command and select the fill with command. Okay, so what this command does is it fills um, the specific position with the block specified. 
So actually, this fills a square position in this case because it's a from uh, from a position A to position B, and it fills the intermediate position. So since we are creating a pyramid, we will choose the smooth sandstone, and we'll put it here. And before we carry on, um, my in the Minecraft, your character is actually of a width uh, of a height two two squares. I can see here. So as you can see here, I probably don't want to create um the squares right from the start at the lowest level because if I do that, I'll be trapped within the pyramid myself. So what I would do is to create an if logic and to check that. I'm actually of a, at a height of level 3 before I start to fill um, the whole space with uh, blocks. So what? So to access the if function, I'll go to the logic and then I'll use the if else statement. Okay, and the condition check will be unfound under logic again. And now we do comparison. And we'll compare between the width and the length uh, and the height of two. Okay, so if the width is more than or equals to two, then we'll start constructing the pyramid by filling everything with the squares <laughs> with the blocks sorry so uh, one thing to know about this fill with block is that the from and the to position actually denotes the top left corner of the uh, square to be filled and the bottom right corner of the square to be filled is that the two extreme ends <laughs> so before we carry on um, thinking of what values to put inside it um, let's observe our pyramid again so you can see that if I want to fill, uh, if I want to create the squares at each layer, I want to use the uh, top left corner to the bottom right corner as the two coordinates to fill, right? So first, I'll look at the top left corner. The top left corner, as you can see, that as I move left and right, as I move left, my z axis is actually decreasing. So my top left corner is probably the minimum z axis. Okay, and uh, as I move, as I move up or down, my as I move up, sorry, my x as my x axis is actually increasing. So at the top left corner, your x axis is the maximum, and the z axis is the minimum. So back to make code, this is what we want to uh, produce. So the maximum in this case is actually um, width. Let's name our um, width to be set as current width. Because remember, um, index actually loops from um, 0. Sorry. If you remember, index actually loops from 0 to the width. So at layer 0, we want the width, the width to be filled to be the greatest width. So we will create a new variable, name it current width. And at the start of at the start of each loop, we'll always set this current width to be the original width of the pyramid minus the index. In that case, when index is actually at the top most at the end of a loop, when index is equals to width, then the current width will be zero. So just use the math block for the minus. And current width will be equals to width minus index. Okay. So the two positions <coughs> will the y axis for the two position the y coordinate for the two positions will be index. And if you remember the top left corner is actually when the z axis is at the minimum and the x-axis is at the maximum. So the maximum in this case would be current width 
and the and the minimum would be zero minus current width. You can assess again assess the negative by going to the math block. So that's coordinate A um, done. So what I need to do is to do the same for the bottom right corner. So again, we see that at the bottom right corner, as I move down, my x-axis decreases. And as I move right, my z-axis increases. So the bottom right corner is when the z-axis is at the maximum and the x-axis is at the minimum. So we do the same thing. Since x axis is at a minimum, we'll use 0 minus current width. And since z axis is at a maximum, we'll use the current width. So now let's run this um, command and take a look at what you've created. Okay. So to run the command, uh, open up the command terminal by pressing enter and then just key in pyramid and your code block will actually run. Okay, because your code block is, is um, programmed to run on check command pyramid. So let's look at the pyramid that we created and you see that it actually looks decent and the only problem that remains is that the bottom two layers are not created. So now I'm just creating a pyramid that floats in the mid-air. So what I need to do now is actually to create the two bottom layers around me. And I will probably want to have an exit here so that I can, I can actually exit the pyramid. Okay, so let's go about uh, creating the two bottom layers around me. So we go back to our code and now we look at the else um, block where we try to code code out the um, creation of the two bottom layers. So again, we'll use the fill with um, block. Okay. So now this code will be much more complex because now I have to actually code the individual borders by themselves. So what do I mean by that? Um, at the bottom at the bottom block, I want to code um, the borders here and my left and my and my right behind me and at my left separately. Okay. So to do that, again let's see um, where am I at my top left corner. Okay. So you see that at my top left corner, my z axis is actually at the minimum and my x axis is at the um, maximum. Alright? So we'll go back to our code and we'll go to a place where the x axis is at the maximum. We'll start when x axis is at the maximum and I want to fill it with this line. Alright, so we'll set the x-axis of um, both position, both the from and two positions to be the current width. And then we want to fill it from um, negative current width, which is the minimum z-axis to the maximum z-axis. So let's run this again and see um, what is being created. So let's run this here. You can see that hooray. Now the end, my, my this border is actually being created for both the first and the second layer. So I'll probably have to do this three more times for me to be surrounded by a pyramid. So we'll do the same um, for the right, right border. So first we walk to the right border and we see that at the right border, my z axis is, will be at its maximum. So let's do that. We we'll duplicate this code, and now um, we'll set um, both the z-axis of the 
from coordinate and the two coordinate to be the maximum, which is the current width. And then we will duplicate this block again and do the same <coughs> for the left border. So now instead of setting the z axis to the maximum, we'll set it to the minimum, with this, which is 0 minus current width. And now let's test our code again and see what happens. Okay, so you can see that our code works. Actually, we're only left with uh, one last border to fill, which I would rather not um, fill the whole border because that will leave me my character in a pitch black darkness, which is not ideal. So what I want to do is that I want to fill these borders with a hole in the middle. Okay, so I can probably fill um, all four all four corners first before creating the hole. <laughs> So let's fill all four corners first. We we'll duplicate this block of code one last time, and this time uh, I'll set both the x axis, uh, x coordinate of the from and to coordinate, uh, from and to positions, to be negative. And I'll fill the whole length. So after I fill the whole length, I will want I will need to destroy um, two specific specific blocks in order for me to get out of the pyramid. So we shall do that, and we can destroy blocks by putting the fill with um, command. But in this case, instead of filling it with um, sandstone, we'll fill it with air, and this will actually destroy uh, destroy the blocks. So. Again, um, we'll be filling it with air at the index position. So in this case, since we only want to destroy one block, we probably don't need a fill with um, fill with block, but can just do the place block on at a specific position. So the difference between these two is that the fill with block creates a square uh, of the blocks whereas the place block add actually only place a single block. So we'll just use that code. We'll change the grass block to an air block. Okay, and the position set would be, um, the y-axis would still be the index. The x axis, the x coordinate will be in this case will be negative current width, because that was the border that we wanted to create um, an exit at, and the z axis in this case would actually be zero. Okay, because um, zero is relative to the player, and I want to I, I want it to be right in front of me, so in this case z axis will be zero. So let's try to run this code and we'll see what happens. So you can see when I run this code, I'm actually creating a pyramid with a specific exit for me to exit out of the pyramid. And take note that no matter where I face to run this code, my world coordinate is not relative to me, and thus um, it, the exit will always be at the same corner, no matter where I face. Okay, so that concludes our um, tutorial on how to use MakeCode within Minecraft Education Edition.